And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the raid Copied Factory. And I'm being joined today on voice chat by Camper Mom and Don. Hello. I've never done this before, so let's be ready. Obviously, this is a collaboration between the developers of Nier Automata and this game. Oh, oh hello, Macro. All right, I'm put on. Iron Will. Speed. Oh, I'm lagging behind. <laughs> Let me sprint. Speedy. <laughs> 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 What's the announcer even saying? Always oh, stand just to the side, just in case I'm all threat. Oh, wow. That hit me. Oh wow, even has some music. I need to play Neo Thomas and more, like I only ever did ending A. Oh. Call out because it's been a long, long minute. Is this actually a boss or is this just a random trash mob? Oh. oh really? I see how it is. I'll get you, I'll get you in a minute. The next time this thing comes, um, the boss will net net the will do enough thing. Double benediction. <laughs> I know I, I spot those things way too late.
as a DPS tank. Don't really do much. Why that background music set to 100 for this raid, are you? Alright, <laughs> <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> yeah. I wonder, so are these little guys a threat? If, they, uh, if they're alive too long or what? But and oh god basically the next box we are all regrouped uh, on each on a separate platform and yeah you must stay on the front okay. then you have to pay attention what happens sometimes uh, the flamethrower behind behind us feels uh, active and it's different which area of the platform will be hit. Mm. Then an arm will put a box in the middle. Um, yeah, you avoid the, the side that comes down. Mm. And you have to take all the ads that comes out of it. Basically, the, those are the Amok... Amok... Uh, Robots basically they, you, they blow you up. Right. Call it out because I don't remember. <laughs> I just and, go by sight and what they're casting. Then you have the arm gun goes into the middle, then you see a circle, and basically you have um, three, qu uh, three parts like uh, the atomic wa uh, sign. And this to, uh, this will uh, rotate and also a, round, a donut uh, AOE thing will go go also around. You will see what I mean. 
but you need to see it. Right. Yeah. And you see the heads behind, below us. They will be active at a certain point, and each second row. And after this, they will change. But you will see which are active and which not. Now it that is with the that one. I am getting a lot of crits, so getting the direct hit so high is a good idea. Is 2P just on our platform or? Which should be on everyone's yeah. platform just for now. Yeah, uh, because we are too okay. okay. Um the fuck shot on there. Probably the occasional plan and see if someone is getting a buff. Oh, someone ran on me.
dead. Crap. I try to run. Uh, we're lucky because 2P basically tells us what to do. Nice guys. Next is the mini boss. Trash. Oh, how you like to call it? Um, it's in uh, two phases. First is the tank. You have to avoid the areas where he bombs. Then sometimes you have also the ads that um, explode, but I don't think you get one. But they must be carried out. And the second phase is this uh, flight unit that you see on the right side. And basically, you will see. If I get hit with that. This is just a trash mob, right? Get a mark above your head, um, face the mark so that it doesn't go into the, into the group. Right. So uh, go away there will from the be group. Um, basically, um, yeah, let's see when. You just follow. Basically, you just need to set the marker out of the group and show fear. I knew it. <laughs> oh, 
Wow. And next is a very famous boss of the game. <laughs> ah, um, I tried to honor you before you got rested. <laughs> <laughs> you would! <laughs> Sorry, carry on. <laughs> you would. <laughs> um, oh yeah, you are tank. You will be marked with a red, with red circles. It is a precision um, a missile that will hit you. I think you need a cooldown for it. I never done it, so I can't tell. All right. Um, he will charge uh, uh, four different hit uh, strikes. One is left. Left and right, it, as you can see the platform, it's that area, and one is, the other two are is the back and the sides of the area, and the other one is the front and the middle. You will see what I mean with this, I will tell you, yeah, the left. Just tell, yeah, just okay. Oh. The next to the right. The next one should be hit behind us. Oh, it's near the middle. Oops. Stay there. Go out. I'll just follow you, how about that? Yeah, that's all I'm doing! <laughs> From this, out of the middle, because there will be like a beam in the moment. After this, all the circles must be filled. where our marker is. Oh. Oh, where he is. Yep. And take him to the outside. Because he will make a front cone. Assuming that charge timer is, is that like a DPS uh, light check. Yeah. Now to the back end we are all gathering.
Oh, happy flying. Bees blood. Well, now you, you will see um, left and right will rise now to arms and they will hit one third of the area after another. Right. Just a matter of uh, where they start. get everything mixed together. Just uh, I was trying to see where you were going, and I was like, damn it. You done? Yeah. Okay. Now to the end button.
And oh. if you get here again, don't run to this edge before <laughs> the bot is still, because you can fall down then. Yeah, I, I remember that. <laughs> that was fun. I, I remember being in a group and someone did that. They're like, oh. <laughs> like dead. I made the experience myself. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. What is he doing? Oh, God. Here? You must pay attention to his cast. He do. He's doing front and behind cannons and dual flank cannons. Right. So basically it's every easy. single direction. Okay. Yeah. He will also do a charge attack. You will see it out or you are dead. Okay, maybe I think you can survive this. And then he will have two phases where he unducks. And then he will fly over one third and bombs in this area. You have to avoid it because you get a vulnerability debuff. And then we okay. didn't pay attention. Yeah. All right. Oh crap! <laughs> that was close. So now we will have the the arms. The arm will hit uh, one quarter of the area. I should do like another run of Nero Thomas, shouldn't I? Yeah. I will eventually. Play it up a few other games. From which side he comes, uh you must follow uh, 2P. <laughs> oh, that one, they, oh, the they marked her. Yeah, they marked her. Uh, um, after he is back, he will mark um, some areas of the... of the... Uh, yeah, of the platform with um, red with red marks and so two times or three times you must remember which areas they are and you must avoid it then because they, they will get in. Well now I switched off um, Iron Will. Doesn't seem like I do anything. Oh, I just hit him. They must be tanks, and then their cannon must be uh, face outside, or you kill the raid. So, do I tank one of these, or do we just kill them as I Normally, yes. Because this can happen. All right. All right. And if both are destroyed, you will hack one of them. And you must go behind the other one, otherwise you will die. Right, right. Because the one that he will hack will explode. Die.
the other healer up. Anything else? Or is it just rinse repeat now? Um, now you have to tank at a, a mob. That mob is similar to the first boss. Basically means you must pay attention to his spin attack that, right, he, right. Uh, that he has. Center is um, yeah, basically yeah. The center and sideways is means you can stay in the middle because the outside of him will mark. And one one of them. Stay in the middle. Second undock phase, the red mark, uh, the red uh, mark will come again. Basically, when he gets gone, one one round he will mark them again. Not that you are surprised by. Him. I was in the mat. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I was in that one.
Oh, nearly there. Minus card. So let's see. Let's see if I get it first time. these um, storage boxes for? Uh, them are here. Okay. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I got one storage crate. I didn't get nothing! <laughs> <laughs> and let me... Let's finish off this dungeon. Be right back. Uh, there may be others lying in wait. We should withdraw. she just collapsed one minute she was walking ahead of us the next well as you see here so after all of that perhaps the greatest shock is that you're still standing i'm impressed and a little bit scared truly you're wasted on the uh, petty errands that everyone else puts you up to Oh, are you feeling better? More importantly, who was the boy in black? How was he controlling the machines? Uh, not a boy, an android. An enhanced machine designed in imitation of mankind. Same as me.
You, you're a machine? That's impossible. It's hard enough to make a fully functioning um, iron beard or a wind-up automation that bears a passing resemblance to a real person. You create machines that look and act and fight like you two. Who could possibly have done such a thing and how? But fine, let's say for the moment that I believe you. Why would one of these androids want to attack us? I don't know, but he's not the only one out there. And if the other androids come looking for these ruins, I can't promise they won't be just as aggressive. Anyone who gets in their way could be in terrible danger. This whole place could be in danger. If they're anything like what we just saw, I don't like our chances. Don't be silly. We have our clever minds. We have loads of explosives. We have an exceptionally violent assistant, and we even have an android of our own. I'm sorry. My systems took too much damage in that battle. I don't think I'll be functional for much longer. I can only tell you what you need to do. Deep within the ruins lies a key. Find it. With it, we can stop them. The machines, the androids. With it, you can restore... Restore? Her f restore her to functionality, maybe. What the hell was that about? Oh. A very promising discovery is what? So we must persevere. Onward, inward, away. Hmm. Cool. Let's uh, finish off the quest. I knew that there was something of value in there. And once we get our hands on it, they'll see. They'll all see. Oh, nothing. What? Did you hear something? Ahem. The real question is, do we pack more explosives this time? Maybe we can uh, fit some in your pack as well. You are coming along, right? Oh, who am I kidding? I know you wouldn't miss it. I'm sure I won't be given the choice to miss it. <laughs> yes, yes, we both know that you're loving this. And I have a present for you. Feast your eyes on this. It's a one-of-a-kind recording device, the portable archive. If you spot anything odd, anything at all, march right up to it and let this collect its data. Then we'll have a nice little set of records to review. I know, I know, we're brilliant. Anyway, find a place for that in your pack and do take care of what other preparations need doing. We'll be ready to go when you are. Cool, that's complete. Action expanded, portable archive acquired. So the part below archive is now available under collection in the duty section of the main menu. Fill your archive by using it to record data at promising spots within the ruins. Interesting. Interesting. So collection. So you have added an item of interest to your collection. Other such keepsakes found on your adventures will be stored here. Viewable at any time should you wish to reflect on your past deeds. Ooh. Let's do that. So... Here, collection, portable archive. Oh, wow. 
And it's of the... I'm assuming it's related to this raid, but yeah. Cool. All right. I think that's a good time to end the episode, and we'll carry on from him um, in the next one. So thank you, and as always, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Mifri. Bye, guys.